I know one thing, uh, watching you play last year, it was, I bet you I was more nervous watching the Royals play last year when I, I managed the Royals. I mean, I, I was really pulling for him to turn that whole thing around from being down six to three uh, in the sixth inning uh, and with Lester pitching and to tie the game up and they took him out and to win the knockout game 11 innings and then the, to see how good they played uh, against Baltimore and just dominated them. And the only thing I, I, I was sitting there and I was just kind of crying him. I think I wish I'd have had your bullpen when I managed. Jeez, that's one of the greatest bullpens I've ever seen. I, I can't believe uh, that you got three guys and even four. If you talk about you, better beat them in six innings or you don't have a very good chance of beating the Royals. And, but I am happy to see the club playing well. This year, I, I just am amazed when I watch you play last year, last in home runs, last in run scored, last in batting average. And this year, I look at your lineup, hell, everybody's hitting 300. And I don't know who your hitting coach is, but they ought to call him in and give him a raise for crying out loud. But I'm so happy Mustakas is hitting and uh, what he's doing, and it looks like now the first baseman's really a tough out in the clutch. And Kane, I've always thought when you got Kane and he came over here and played, he's always an outstanding ball player. The catcher's a good player. You you got a good team, a very good team, and uh, I like to see the Cardinals and the Royals in the World Series, and uh, hopefully that if it happens, maybe I, I, I told I just went down to Matheny and told him I couldn't wear red tonight because I'm in Kansas City, to step into a situation where your club was, uh, I couldn't have stepped into a better situation. Uh, maybe Matheny stepped into a better one in St. Louis. You know, <clears throat> we had, at that time, uh, we had Buck Martinez and uh, catching most of the games and two other guys, and then we had Mayberry having a heck of a year. I'm talking about when I came here, and... Frank White was on the bench. Colin was on the bench. Freddie Pontek was a hell of a turf shortstop. George Brett, 21-year-old rookie, just turned the league apart. And then you, I had McRae and Otis, and and, uh, and I put Collins. Uh, Pinson was playing right field, and Wolford was out there. But when the DH started in 73, of course, Hal became most of a DH. And I had two kids in left field at Platoon and uh, Poquette and Wolford, and uh, nobody said we had enough pitching, but we'd had some pretty good pitching. Split off, we traded for Gura. Uh, Leonard was outstanding pitcher, never got the credit that he should get. Uh, and I don't think that, that you, you get much ink in the Midwest like you get on the East and West Coast, but there was a period of five years that Leonard won more games than Jim Palmer did. And uh, my only gripe about coming here was I didn't have Crosby, I mean Busby. And I uh, had him when he had a rotor cuff problem, and uh, he'd already pitched two no-hitters, and I coached against him. I saw him pitch a lot when he before he hurt that rotor cuff. And if we'd had Busby to go along with Leonard and split off and Gura and Every, we fitted in some guys, and the, and the big thing is, if we'd have signed Gossies, I might still be managing the Royals, 3-1, and one, and we came back from 3-1, and one, and we won in 6, they won in 7, 2-1, I'm sorry. But the big thing I remember, uh, we were taking batting practice in St. Louis, and my ground crew said, it's going to rain in 10 minutes, we're going to cover the field. I said, fine. And so I walked back to the clubhouse, and they had to take the batting cage out, and we had an automatic tarp with a machine that would come out, and then down the right field line, the tarp would pop out of the ground. How in the world, and Ozzy and Vince and Willie McGee were standing there, how in the world they could be not paying attention that we're putting the tarp on? Fifteen minutes later, they come in and said, Vince got run over by a tarp. <laughs> so What? So anyway, he said he was okay. The x-rays were negative, and I said, fine. We opened up here, I think, on a Tuesday night or something like that. And I never heard anything. 
and I had to turn my roster in on Monday at that time, and we were already down to 24 players, and uh, because that's what Uber Roth wanted to do. He thought by having taken a, some, a rookie or a young player off the roster, he'd save the owners money. So we were playing with 24, and then Coleman gets hurt, and uh, I've already got him on the list, and they wouldn't let me replace him. But the big thing I... I don't want to harp on the on the call because it sounds like sour grapes. The Royals pitching shut us down. And once we lost Coleman, my jackrabbits, you know, if you look back at the 85 stats, we had outstanding pitching. We had Tudor that was 22-7, and seven, uh, started the season 1-6. and six. The only game he's lost all year from that time on till the World Series seventh game was... Uh, Game he had five days of rest after the All-Star break in uh, L.A. And outside of that, he was finished 22-7. and seven. Then I had Coxie, who was a pretty good young pitcher. He had that little elbow trouble. I couldn't pitch him in St. Louis on the, on the fifth game, so I had to give him an extra day's rest because his elbow was swollen. He won 18 that year. Was an outstanding competitor, and then I had the guy that was crazier than hell. But I want to tell you, he did a heck of a job for me on Joaquin. Joaquin, uh, I could sit here and tell you guys a lot of stories about him, but you know when I got him, I got him because Hub Kittle had managed him in Dominican Republic, and Hub liked him, and uh, I know that he was a little bit off a rocker and so forth, but. Uh, he won 20 games one year for me in August, the first week of August. And uh, that particular year, Rick, I think I'm right, he won his 20th game on August the 3rd. And we played till Halloween. He never won another game. Uh, he should have won 30, but he won 20. That's all he had to do. And uh, he was a joy to manage. You sat on a firecracker every day, whether you won 10 in a row or lost 10 in a row. But I, when you're asking me this question, I'm getting worse than Casey Stengel, for crying out loud. <laughs> what I remember most, everybody remembers the call. But the big thing is we only got 11 runs in seven games. And we, only, we, we could have won it with 11 runs in six games. Unfortunately, we self-destructed after the bad call, but they scored on a blue pit with two outs, and uh, that's one of the things. But 11 runs... In seven games, ain't going to win you many World Series. 